Welcome listeners to the Listening English channel. I'm David and today I'm taking you on a journey to one of the most incredible cities in the world, Nairobi, Kenya, with a focus on the present continuous tense. Let's get started. Here I am traveling to Nairobi in Kenya. Who wouldn't want to visit this amazing city, right? The sights, the sounds, the people, everything is so exciting. As I'm walking through the bustling streets of Nairobi, I'm noticing all the vibrant colors and delicious smells wafting from the local markets. Vendors are shouting out their prices, trying to entice passersby to buy their goods. It's a sensory overload, but in the best possible way. I'm currently exploring the Maasai market where I'm seeing beautiful handmade jewelry, colorful fabrics, and intricate wood carvings. Artisans are busily crafting these amazing pieces right before my eyes. I find myself buying a few souvenirs to take back home. Next, I'm heading to the Nairobi National Park. Yes, you heard that right. A national park right in the middle of the city. I'm seeing giraffes, zebras, and even lions roaming around in their natural habitat. It feels like I'm on a safari in the heart of Nairobi. I'm deciding to take a guided tour of the park, and my guide is sharing fascinating details about the different animals we're spotting along the way. We're watching a family of elephants bathing in a watering hole, making me feel as though I'm part of a nature documentary. It's an unforgettable experience. After the park, I'm making my way to the Karen Blixen Museum. This is the former home of the famous author of Out of Africa, and it feels like stepping back in time. I'm seeing her personal belongings, old photographs, and even the typewriter she used to write her novels. It's a captivating glimpse into the life of a literary legend. As I'm walking through the museum, I'm reflecting on all the incredible experiences I've had in Nairobi. From the lively markets to the serene national park to the historic museum, this city has truly won my heart. I'm deciding to end my day with a visit to the Giraffe Center. Here, I'm getting up close and personal with these majestic creatures. I'm feeding them, petting them, and even receiving a kiss from one. It's a magical moment that I'll always remember. Feeding the giraffes, I'm feeling grateful for this opportunity to explore Nairobi. The present continuous tense is proving invaluable as I describe all the wonderful activities I'm engaging in in this remarkable city. I know my time in Nairobi is drawing to a close, but the memories I'm making here will stay with me forever. From the warm locals to the breathtaking wildlife to the rich history, Nairobi has made an indelible mark on my soul. So, if you ever get the chance to visit Nairobi, don't hesitate. It's a city unlike any other, and you won't regret a moment spent discovering all it has to offer. Trust me, you'll be thankful you did. Thank you listeners for tuning in. Always stay positive, creative, curious, and excited. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.